ladies and gentlemen, presenting Bill Coward for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Art Rooney II. First thing I'd like to do um, is just say congrats to my fellow enshrinees and all the gold jackets on this stage tonight. It's an honor to go in with each and every one of you. Your individual careers and journeys are remarkable and inspiring. But what a weekend for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It is unbelievable to me to go in the Hall of Fame on the same weekend with two guys you drafted, Troy Palomalu and Alan Fanica. Also, Donnie Shell and the late, great Bill Nunn. With the Pittsburgh Steelers on this stage, the Gold Jackets on this stage, you guys set the standard and created the culture. And it's our job to keep it going. So I guess being last to speak has its benefits. You're not infringing on the next guy if you go too long. And if the music starts to play, if I do go long, it won't bother me. I'm used to talking while music is playing. My wife is a musician. And for those of you still here, thank you for staying. To give proper perspective, I've been in football since the age of 10, 54 years. The last 42 years, I've been in the National Football League as a player, a coach, or an analyst. The last 30 years, I've been with just two teams. As a matter of fact, this year marks 15 years with each one. When you're together for 15 years, a team becomes your family. My Pittsburgh Steelers family and my CBS family. Thank you, Sean McManus and David Burson, and all my CBS colleagues who are out here tonight. CBS and Pittsburgh are very similar. It's all about the culture and the people. For 30 years, it's been a blessing to call work your home away from home. Thank you. How do you put in such little time the impact that others have had on this journey? I'm going to attempt to do this by the pockets of people I've surrounded myself with. Number one, my friends. My friends from Carlington High School to North Carolina to Pittsburgh and to New York. I've always preached that it's important to surround yourself with good people. People are with you for who you are as a person, not what you do. Thank you for your all unconditional friendship. Thank you, guys. Secondly, I talk about the players. It's all guys I played with from Pop Warner Football in Crafton, Pennsylvania, to Carlington High School, to my NC State crew that's out here, to the Cleveland Browns, and to the Philadelphia Eagles. No, 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 don't go there. I got two kids that were born in Cleveland. You know, playing football is about camaraderie and having each other's back. It's all about building relationships and friendships through the workouts, the practices, the games, and all the time that we spend together. Thank you, guys. 
the players who played for me as a coach, from the Cleveland Browns to the Kansas City Chiefs and to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Since our, since our last enshrinement, we saw tonight the memoriam, we've lost a number of Hall of Famers. But there's one player in particular who is not with us tonight, but embodies what this evening is all about, Hall of Famer Kevin Green. Tara Green is with us tonight. Tara, he was a special man who I had the privilege of coaching. He embraced life, and his passion was exuded in everything that he did. He's left us in spirit tonight. But the game, but the game is about the players. For all you guys that played for me, I want to thank you for all your sacrifice, commitment, and trust. You know, as a coach, you ask people to trust. And what is trust? Trust is something as a coach you have to earn. Trust is unconditional, but trust can be powerful. And to each and every one of you, in whatever role you played, I want you to know it never went unappreciated. You are a reflection of our culture. <laughs> to the coaches and support staff, to all the coaches who coached me, thank you for pushing me and believing me and teaching me. People like Chuck Amato, my linebacker coach at NC State. Thanks, coach. I know it was a handful of times, but you always set me straight. To all the coaches who coached with me, I always said that NFL assistant coaches are teachers, and I learned from all of you. Thank you for your sacrifice, dedication, and loyalty. You know, coaching, like playing, is a brotherhood. You share the joys of winning, the frustrations of losing, and thrive on the next opportunity to do it again. During the season, we spend more time together than we do with our families. So I also want to spend a special thank you to the coach's spouses for running the home. It takes a special partner to be a coach's wife. And to the sports staff, to the trainers and doctors, to the administrative assistants and front office and personnel departments, you lean on them. You can't operate without their expertise. And I want to thank for all you to be patient with me. But lastly, my family. It all started for me in Crafton, Pennsylvania. My mom and dad, Dorothy and Laird. Laird was called Bill, hence I was called Billy. And my two brothers, Dale and Doug. We were close family. Our schedules were formed around sports games and practices and whatever summer jobs that we had. We had a special set of parents who loved each other who pushed and supported their three boys unconditionally and instilled the values that we live by today. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> to my late wife, Kay, and our three daughters, Megan, Lauren, and Lindsay, we were a very insulated family. Kay was the rock. She was a great partner. And you three girls gave me the balance and perspective and drive to succeed. I just want to make you proud to say that I was your father. I love you guys and the woman you have become. And to my wife, Veronica, Queen V as she's known, thank you for all you bring to the family. We need a little music and harmony to blend this journey together. Thank you, and I love you. But last, I just want to say to my two main mentors, Two individuals who have helped shape and mold me into the person I am today. First, Marty Schottenheimer, the only head coach I've ever worked for. He taught me how to play in the coach when I had never coached before. He gave me the opportunity to be a defensive coordinator when I had never done it before. As a head coach, he won over 200 games in over 20 seasons. He had 14 assistant coaches to go and become NFL head coaches, four of which who have won a Super Bowl. He was a master motivator, a stickler to detail, and for him, it all started with preparation. This man has not only influenced the game, but he's influenced anybody who's ever played for him, coached with him, or coached against him. And I speak on behalf of many. Thank you, Coach. You did so much for so many for so long. One day, you will be in the Hall of Fame. And I also want to say thank you to Pat Schottenheimer. Thank you, Pat for all you did for Kay and I as you took us under your wing. And for your, Kristen, your father, 
was my first meeting with him was a Saturday morning basketball game of yours. He was coaching me through you, through, to you through me. So um, thank you for having a good game. Um, and last, the Dan Rooney and Rooney family. When I came to Pittsburgh at age at 34, I knew of the tradition and expectation of Pittsburgh Steelers. Hell, I grew up there and saw what Chuck Nolan in the 70s Steelers did in revitalizing the Pittsburgh area. What I didn't know is how did it work on the inside? Who were the Rooneys? Well, in my 15 years as a head coach, I grew in every aspect of my life. Dan was a visionary leader. He never missed a teaching moment and inspired those around him. The Rooney family core values were always about family, community, and just do the right thing. And isn't that what this Hall of Fame family is all about? Let's use this platform to make a difference. You know, winning was a byproduct of Dan Rooney's approach to embracing the process. And I'll leave you one last example. In 2005, prior to our historic run as the first six seed to ever win a championship, that Monday he came into me and Dan Rooney said and gave me these rosary beads. I said, Dan, I wasn't even, I'm not Catholic. Dan said to me without missing a beat, Coach, it doesn't matter. Every little bit helps. <laughs> well, Dan, I still have them today. And to those who unfortunately are not with us, my parents, Larry and Dorothy, my wife Kay, Marty Schottenheimer, and Dan and Pat Rooney, you are here in spirit. I feel you, I love you, and hope you're as proud of me as I am of you. Thank you, Steeler Nation.